Okay, we have here a pretty interesting problem. We've got the sum from n equals one to infinity of n cubed plus two n squared plus three n plus four over n times two to the n. And I think my first step on it is really just kind of rewriting it. Because we have this sum in the numerator, I can actually break this up into four separate sums. And the other thing I want to notice is this two over n, I can put this, I can write this in a way that it, I can kind of bring this into the numerator and write it as one half to the n. The reason for doing that is so we can try to make use of the geometric series formula. So let's rewrite this as four separate sums. This we'll put in this form and I'm gonna divide the n into the numerator. Okay, so now we have this all broken up and I have my geometric series formula over here to the right. We do have, for the convergence on this, we're gonna want absolute value of x less than one. It's not gonna be a problem because the way we're using this, our x value everywhere is gonna be this one half. So that's gonna meet this restriction here. And so notice for this one right here, we're almost at the point where we could go ahead and solve it. The only difference is the lower bounds one, but it's basically already in this form with a slight adjustment. So we have a way to do this one. And then for each of these other sums, let's use this right here. We can manipulate this into a form where we can use it for these. So first I think I'll just look at this one right here. And what we can do actually is if I just integrate this on both sides on the left side i'm not going to worry too much about the plus c because the plus c is actually if you do it all the way out it's going to be a zero so i'm going to drop the plus c on this and then on the right side if we integrate this with respect to s this is going to become sorry with respect to x integrating on the right side is going to be x to the n plus one over n plus one but then let's do an index change on this if i subtract one from the ends here all i need to do is add one that's a zero by the way it's not it doesn't look like a zero but it's a zero let's just add one on there and then the lower bound here becomes one and then what we have right here this is going to match this is going to be exactly this form where the x value is one half so we can use this and we could have just went to the formula because this is just the power series expansion for natural log one minus x next let's get a formula for this one right here so what's going to happen is here if we take a derivative on this what we get is one over one minus x squared. Technically you get a minus sign, but then with chain rule, another minus sign is gonna cancel. So that's why this is positive. And then differentiating on the right side, just power rule on this, we get n, x, n minus one. But now with the minus one here, I can break this x off separate. We could write it in the denominator here or bring it out front, but really what I wanna do is let's get it on the other side. So if I just multiply by an x on both sides, then I can bring it onto the left side and we can have our formula here with an X in the numerator. And then on the bounds here, notice we're starting at zero, but if you plug in zero, the whole thing's zero. So I can actually just change this to a one and I'm not actually changing the value of the series. And then for this last one here, doing the same kind of thing, I'm just gonna differentiate on this right here. On the left side, we're gonna need quotient rule. So derivative of X is one, then we're gonna have one minus X all squared then minus, leave the x, then we need derivative of this, which is gonna be two times one minus x. And then with chain rule, minus sign is gonna pop out, so I'll just change this here to a plus. And then we need to square the denominator, so that's gonna become one minus x all to the fourth. But let's notice we've got one minus x everywhere, so I can like cancel one of these, cancel one of these, cancel this down to a three, and then just try to simplify. Let's see, it's gonna be one minus x this is just 2x over the same denominator. But then 2x minus x is just x, so I can write this as 1 plus x over 1 minus x cubed. So this here is going to be the left side of our equation. We'll have 1 plus x, 1 minus x. Sorry, I did this wrong. I keep doing that. This, is going to, this needs to be all cubed here. Then when we differentiate here with power rule, what's going to happen? n times n, we're going to have n squared x n minus 1 and still going from one to infinity. But same exact thing with the minus one here, we can bring out an X in the denominator, multiply by an X, and what's gonna happen in our formula, we're gonna end up with an X on the left side. And now that we've got all our formulas, we can just go ahead and kind of plug in. So on this first one, everything, everywhere the X is gonna be one half. We have the same one half everywhere. So first we plug in one half here. We're gonna have one half, one plus one half is gonna be three halves. Then here, one minus one half is gonna be one half and this is gonna be cubed. On this next one, we have a two out front. Use half and plug into this formula. This is gonna become 
1 half, 1 minus a half is going to be 1 half squared. Here we've got the three out front. We just have to keep in mind that we're starting here at one and our formula starts at zero. But what we can do is just use the geometric series formula, plug in our X one half, but then take the first term. If you plug one in here, the first term is one half. So we'll just have one half in the numerator. And then for this one here, we're gonna have four out front. Then all this we determine is gonna be minus LN one minus X. So let's change this to a minus sign and then plug a half in here and we have ln one half. And then we just need to simplify so I can cancel a half with a half here. Half squared is a fourth, flip it, four times three halves is gonna be six. Here, cancel a half with one of these, flip this, and we get two times two, this is gonna be a four. Here, this denominator is a one half, so one half over one half, this is all one, and we just have a three on this here. Then here, I can take this plus and bring it into the exponent and write this as half to the minus one, or just two. So then this is gonna become just for ln two. So for my final solution, we just have 13 plus four ln two, and that's it. Okay, there you go. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.